So to make mention of these documentaries, what in the world happened? There are some fascinating documentaries out there by one single narrator called a Warnom. E-W-A-R-A-N-O-N. -A -A I'm not sure how to pronounce that. The more I have listened to this voice, the more I notice it to be computer simulations and not a real person speaking. These documentaries are professionally produced and where is all this information coming from? The problem with these documentaries is that a lot of the information is factual, but at the same time, it denies Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. So this is a fair warning. If you trust a warn on in what is presented, you will not be saved. So if, if you trust these documentaries, they will lead you astray. He also denies the Holy Spirit of God, not rightly representing him. And though he does mention the Son of God, he does not confess Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and especially him being the propitiation for our sins, if you believe. Not once have I heard him mention God the Father. The Godhead is one. He denies the scriptures being inspired by God the Holy Spirit. Uh, 2 John verse 7, For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. If the enemy builds and establishes lies in our world and then begins to expose them to the credit to make you trust him, and when presenting himself as trustworthy, it's only to get you to deny Jesus Christ and damn your soul. Matthew 24, verse 4, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. And what's interesting about no man, someone who's not spiritual, someone who's not born again, giving you truth. Mark 13, verse 22 through 23, For false Christ and false prophets shall arise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take ye heed, behold, I have foretold you all things. Thank you, Lord. Believing in something is not going to save you. Oh, well, I believe in God, or I believe in this. Believing in Jesus Christ will save you. Having faith in him, following him, loving him, that's going to save you. So know the time. And please get a King James Version Bible and begin reading the New Testament. Start in 1 John. And pray and ask God to help you understand. He will bless you. If you... Get a Bible and start reading it and start praying and asking God for insight and wisdom and understanding. He is going to bless you. Don't rely on men and other people to teach you the word of God. Ask and receive the Holy Ghost and have faith in Jesus Christ and you will be blessed.